If you have a product that you would like to have reviewed on this channel, I've got my email linked down below in the description box and you can contact me on that email and get your product onto this channel right here with me making a review video on your products. Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another long-term review video. Now today we're going to have a look at my old line trimmer. Now this is a home light, it says so there, home light line trimmer. As you saw in the beginning of the video, these now sell for $175 at Bunnings. Now I have had this particular line trimmer for over five years. And in that time, it has never, ever let me down. Now, these do come with a two-year warranty. And I believe when I bought this particular one that I've got here, I only paid $99 for it. So it has come up in price a little bit in the last five or so years that I've had this. This is a two-stroke line trimmer, and it has a 25cc motor. It runs on a 50 to 1 mix of petrol and oil. As you can see here, I'm outside using it. Don't stress, I'm not going to ring bark the tree. It's not my first day using a line trimmer. I've been doing this for over 30 years and I'm quite proficient in using one of these. And here we are trimming some grass around the garden beds only because my ride-on mower does not fit between the garden beds. As you just saw in those video clips, the line trimmer starts pretty much straight away. It runs perfectly and it does a great job. It has been doing so for five years. So for $99 that I paid for it, I can highly recommend one of these home light line trimmers. And something that I've only just worked out recently, I believe these are built in the same factory as the Ryobi line trimmers because the Ryobi attachments, uh, you can see here, you can detach the line trimmer part and you can have different attachments to it. And apparently the Ryobi attachments fit straight onto this home light line trimmer. So I'm guessing these things are made in the same factory as Ryobi. So for someone that just wants to use one of these around the house, if you've got a smaller yard, even though I've got a big yard, a very big yard, I don't do a lot of line trimming. But look, if you've got a smaller yard, I reckon these are great value for money. And you know, you don't need to buy yourself a $500 line trimmer to get something reliable. Like I said, I've had no issues with this in five years. It still runs, I'm still using it. In saying that, I have modified the line trimmer slightly. I got rid of this self-feed, there it goes. I did get rid of this self-feed line feed thingy that was at the bottom of it because I just find these to be a real pain. And what I did, I bought myself one of these. Okay, it's called a Saber Cut Strike Force Line Swivel Attachment for your line trimmer. So what it does, it's got three strings that attach to the head and it works really, really well, as you just saw in the video. I'll give you a quick look at it for those that are interested. That's the attachment here. So it's got three double lines like that. Okay, so these last a lot longer when you're trimming. And they are, in my opinion, a lot easier to change. Like, I, I don't have to change these too often. Like, this is what's left after using the line trimmer to do my property, to do everything I needed to do today. So, you know, th this is still good for another day, at least. And these things do fit various line trimmers. It's pretty much says on the packet here that it fits every model line trimmer. It's got a lot of um, different parts and adapters in there, which I obviously didn't use, but I did keep them 
just in case I ever buy another line trimmer and I want to use the same head. So these are definitely worthwhile considering for your line trimmer, no matter what brand you've got. Now overall, I will give the Home Light trimmer a 9 out of 10. The only reason I'm giving it a 9, there's two things. There's that there. And I don't actually like the way the fuel line comes out of the, um, the tank. It does sometimes leak a little bit of fuel around where the fuel line comes out of the tank. All it is, there's literally a hole drilled into the tank there that the fuel line gets pushed into. And the actual fuel line is what seals the hole. There's no seal, there's no grommets, there's no anything. That's just how it works. But look, it does work and it's been fine for five years. Like I said, it does leak a little bit of fuel sometimes. Look, it's not a deal breaker, but I think they could have done something a little bit better there to stop that little bit of fuel leaking out occasionally. But look, overall, 9 out of 10 for this is really, really good. I do recommend it. And for home use, I would definitely buy one of these again. Especially if it's a big saving. Okay, $175, they're getting up there a little bit now. But I think they're still about half the price of a lot of the other trimmers out on the market. So for that, you're saving yourself a fair bit of money. You're going to get at least two years out of it. Definitely worthwhile considering one of these next time you're on the market for a cheap line trimmer. Do me a favour, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever used any home light products. And also, I'd like to know what brand line trimmer you're using at the moment and what you think of that model line trimmer that you've got. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button, not the home light line trimmer, for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.